And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Zeke Garcia, how you doing? Today we're taking a look at a game that's fairly well known in 2014 because it won the Spiel des Jahres. Ah, the which, German Game of the Year. And that really is a big deal. That's a game that's made for families. Mm -hmm. um, and so, usually I review those as quickly as I can, but I held off on Cam Up because, well first of all, it took a while for the English print to come out. That's right. And then secondly, I heard people playing it, many of my gamer friends, and they were kind of, eh, wasn't that good. So I kind of delayed playing it, but I thought, I really need to talk about this game. So, here we are. Were my gamer friends correct? Let's see. Hmm. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is look at this cool pyramid here. First of all, you follow these instructions here, which are very similar to IKEA, and the fact that you really don't know what you're doing. I mean, it tells you to fold one slot at a time. Anyway, I'm not saying I didn't know how to do it, but someone showed me eventually. And he's, essentially what you're doing is you're making this kind of snapback thing. And you can do that because in this pyramid, there are several dice that have sides that are one, two, and three of five colors. Blue, green, orange, yellow, and white. So when you want to roll a die, you're going to shake up the dice. And oh, there's a maze in the back for children to do. Um, then you're going to put this here. You're going to press the slot on it like this. And then lift up and one die should come out and you just rolled a one orange. So it's kind of a convoluted way to do it, but it works. And this means I'm going to move the orange camel one. Now, we should talk about movement in this game. For some reason in this game, camels like to sit on the backs of other camels. Very realistic. And if I move the orange camel one, he's going to move like this and he's going to land on the back of all these guys. And the yellow camel moves along with him. If the yellow camel moves, the orange camel would not go. So, and over the course of any given leg, which is what they call a round in this game, a camel might move several times, even though his die only comes out once. So players are going to start with some money. They're also going to start with cards showing the, the shrewd person that they are who's wagering on this camel race. And they also start with this tile here. On your turn, you have several actions that you can do, although you can only do one per turn. One of those is to simply roll a die and make camels move. When you do that, you're also going to take this. This essentially guarantees you that you're going to get a coin at the end of the round. Uh, that's your reward for actually making the race move on. Once a, a, a camel die comes out, you'll place it over here to show that, that camel can't go anywhere. So I just moved the orange camel one. Another thing you can do is you can bet on a camel for this leg. I think after all the camels have moved, my camel will be in first place. I'll take this blue one. Now when I do this, you'll notice here, this says if the blue camel is first at the end of a leg, I'm going to get five coins. If it's in second place, I'll get a coin. If it's in third, fourth, or fifth, I will lose a coin. If I take that, someone else can take the next one. Just the benefits for being first are only three. And then the third one, the benefits of being first are only two. Another thing you can do is you can place your tile on the board. When you place one of these tiles on the board, you, you must place them so that they are in a spot that's anywhere except you can't put them here, and you also can't put a tile next to someone else's tile. When you put a tile out, it's either going to be on the plus one or minus one. This simply means when a camel lands on it, they will either move forward one or they'll slide back one. In fact, they can slide underneath camels that are already there, because when camels slide backwards, as we've all seen in documentaries, they slide under other camels. Uh, you also, when someone lands on your tile, you get a coin. So hooray for that. Finally, the third thing, the last thing you can do is you can take your cards, you have a card for each camel in the game, and you can place it on one of these two piles here. This is, you're saying that camel's a loser, I hate him, and he's going to lose the, the whole race. Or here you say he's wonderful, he's a winner, he could have been a contender, and you'll put it here and he will win the whole race. So you can put those out anytime you want. Now, after all five dice have come out, so let's quick do this round of the race here. Alright, so green goes three. So green... Oh, we'll put this tile here to see what happens. One, two, three. All right, good job, green. Now white goes three, and everyone goes with him. One, two, three. And then blue goes one, taking these all with him and landing on top of green, which means the only one that hasn't moved yet is yellow, and yellow goes three, putting yellow with a solid lead in the game. That would be one leg, 
Everyone will then check to see how much money they make or lose from what they've bid on. They also get a coin for each of these tiles that they've gotten. Um, all the dice are put back in the pyramid, you reset, and you go on. You will continue doing legs until someone passes the finish line. After that whole leg is completed, whoever has uh, uh, the most points is the winner. Uh, points are from money. Uh, that's basically how you get points because we don't care how good you are. We will care how rich you are. But we're also going to reveal the cards in each stack here. And whoever guessed the correct horse, let's say white wins the whole thing. If I'm the first person to put down white, I'm going to get eight points coins. Second person who puts white, five, three, two, one. I can put in all the colors if I wanted to, but I will lose one point for each incorrect color. And that's last place and the same number of points here for first place. Most money is the winner and everyone else cries. Well, um, I, you know, I, I've talked about this before. When you go into a game with expectations, yeah, that you, can be a killer, you, huh? Well, but sometimes it can also rebound the other way. Like you go and think a game so bad, that when it's good, you're like, what? This is right, amazing. Sure, sure. Well, this is the game when I played the first time, of course, uh, knowing it was a Spiel des Jahres winner. I played with seasoned gamers the first time I played, and the consensus was a, a resounding no. This game is not good. This game is absolutely uh, random. There is not one ounce of strategy. You, a monkey could play this. So I wasn't too happy about that, but I then went and played with family and played with friends and played with non-gamers, you know, casual gamers, and it kept getting better for me because I knew what to expect now, a light, casual game, a game that is about the laughter, the cheering for the camels, you know, the uh, that push your luck with, I'm going to put all my money on this one camel and just hope beyond hope that he comes through, and oh, he, he did, ah, it's that. If you like that idea, I think you'd like this game, Camel Up. What's interesting is that the odds in this game seem greater than they are. Mm -hmm. Like the blue camel, you're like, there's no chance he'll win. For him to win, we'd have to roll a blue die that has a two on it, and then an orange die with a three on it. So he'll carry the blue. And that's not going to happen. Right. But the chances of that happening are decent. They're yeah, not like so right. astronomical, but they feel astronomical. So when you get it, you're like, oh! Right, it's a, it's a great swing sometimes when you have that one last guy and everything falls just right. So he jumps on someone ahead of him and that guy carries him again and someone carries them both. But he's on top so he's still winning. That is a great like stand up and cheer moment in this game. How, um, how, what do you think of the pyramid? I think the pyramid is clearly a gimmick but I haven't had any complaints with it. It hasn't... I mean, what else could you do? Pull a die out of a bag? You could, right? I mean, you could just have, yeah, you could have random dice pull from a bag. You could. Um, That's the only the thing I could think of. The bag is the best thing, yeah. But the pyramid is thematic. It's funny. It draws people in. It looks cool. It's like a 3D piece sitting there on the board. It doesn't mean anything, really. I mean, in fact, you have to sort of, you know, have to break the theme because you have to rip it off off the land and shake it. But <laughs> the gimmick. For one, works. Yeah, it clutches up a little bit sometimes, you know, but it typically works well. It lets out one die. It's cool to do, you know, shaking it up in there and working that lever, and then you're like, ha ah, ha, there's the die. And people seem to like it. And that's, again, this game for that crowd is great because it draws people in, you know? Well, forget that crowd. I enjoyed it. And I'm a heavy gamer. I, I just thought it was fun. Yeah. I like the idea of pushing your luck to some degree. And this game lets you... Look and see something crazy happen. Sure, it doesn't make any sense that camels are carrying each other or sliding <laughs> under each other. But the whole mechanism, once you get how it works, it's easy to understand, and yet it can still surprise you. Because you're like, ah, oh, there's no way that horse can win. Or, I'm sorry, that camel can win. And then three rolls later, you're like, oh. Oh, I'm going to bet on oh. him now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's, it's really entertaining and interesting. Um, uh, the pieces are great. They it, are. It's a lot easier to teach than, than I thought it would be. And so, to me, this is this is a clear winner. Now, should it want to spill as yards? That's an argument for another day. Oh, yeah. But I think it's a great, solid game for that award. And if you're looking for something fun to play with your family or other people, you will not go wrong with this one. An excellent game, in my opinion. Camel up. Dice Star Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com.
You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door, Ruby. Yeah. Yeah.